imate prijatelja. My name is John Martin. We're flying the Eclipse 500 very light jet. This jet has all electronic flight displays with three independent displays. Primary flight displays on the pilot and co-pilot side where you can get altitude, airspeed, attitude and heading information as well as navigation display. It has radar which can be superimposed on the primary display as well as your radio and navigation radios. Over here we have the multifunction display which has a backup attitude, airspeed and altitude readout as well as landing gear and engine instruments. Over here we have a dual pane display which can show each system we have the engine instruments, fuel system, electrical system, electronic circuit breakers. This airplane only has two mechanical circuit breakers. All the other circuit breakers are electronic. You can pull and reset circuit breakers electronically through the system. The environment system, you can select a temperature and the, air, and the air conditioning system will automatically maintain that temperature. Flight control system where you can control your trim on the stick and which will be displayed in the flight control system page. Pressurization system is automatic. You set your landing altitude of the field of the airport that you're going to and the pressurization system manages pressurization schedule to arrive at the airport elevation automatically. This aircraft is uh, certified for flight into known icing conditions. So you have your anti-ice system page here and you can control the wings and the pitot probes and the windshield heat by turning it on and off, high or off. This page shows your flight times and cycles of the aircraft. We have a setup page where you can control parameters. For instance, environment temperature can be displayed in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. You also have a moving map display which will display your waypoints according to what is set up in the dual Garmin navigation systems. Flight management system is also an option on this aircraft. You have full redundancy of all the screens and all the information which can be displayed also on the primary flight display should the multifunction display fail. So that is why we don't see any backup instruments. That is correct. You have complete redundancy within the system. This plane will have synthetic vision and enhanced vision. Can you tell me something about that? Yes. The Eclipse 550, which will be manufactured in 2014, will have synthetic and enhanced vision systems. Synthetic vision will be an artificial display of the terrain ahead of you. Enhanced vision will be an infrared camera, which will be able to cut through haze, rain, smoke, and other uh, vision blocking phenomena. Engine-wise, we have just two levers, FADEC. Yes two levers which are connected to the full authority digital engine control which manages engine power automatically. So from the pilot's perspective, what is it like to fly? This aircraft was designed for the low time propeller aircraft pilot to transition to jets very easily. The systems are kept automatic and uh, simple for the low time pilot. Also, beginning with the Eclipse 550, we'll have an auto throttle system which will automatically adjust your, your throttle setting for descent and climb. So it's a quite an impressive plane. Thank you.
you very much. You're welcome. So you can look over the So I have here with me the owner of the plane. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Akim Alptekin. Uh, I'm the chairman of EA Aerospace, which is a founding shareholder of uh, Eclipse Aerospace. So basically the new company is a rebirth of the original one. Can you tell me something about that? Yes, but with a very different understanding about management and uh, a very different understanding about financial management. So uh, we very much believed in the product. All of the, uh, the investors today knew the product, were very well uh, informed on what went wrong in the past. And what we did is we, uh, we took this product and we finished it to what it's supposed to be. And we made sure there are no missing links anymore. This aircraft is what it was origi originally promised to be. So this aircraft flew here from Jordan, uh, Amman, which is 1,100 nautical miles, uh, which is our stated range. And it flew it directly with two pilots and all the luggage. Um, it flew at 41,000 feet. Uh, it has flight into known icing. There's RVSM and no, no you know, there, there, there are no missing links left anymore in, the, you know, in this total eclipse uh, uh, jet. So uh, when we announced at MBAA that we would go into new production with the Eclipse 550, uh, it was a validation that the total Eclipse was a success uh, and that we are getting so much orders that we have to go back into production to deliver them. So we will start delivering new production aircraft in 2013. Uh, and that aircraft will be even more technologically advanced than the Total Eclipse because it will have, in addition to all the specifications of the Total Eclipse, it will have auto throttle, enhanced vision, um, uh, synthetic vision. And if you look at those specs, uh, to, to, to see uh, any aircraft, if you would look at any aircraft that has the same specs, there would be a $20 million price difference. So this is a real, real change. And it's available now. It, it will be, the deliveries will start in 2013, but this is no longer a promise or a vision. This is an existing aircraft with existing technology as has been proven today. And we have uh, the supply chain already under agreement, and we have a partner who is extremely disciplined uh, and extremely well, uh, uh, well, well experienced in, in supply chain, which is, of course, the Aircraft Corporation. So, uh, some of the parts, uh, we still have a lot of parts, of course, as any, uh, uh, dis distributed outside of the company, which is simply the most efficient way to do it. Uh, but what we don't have, we are not dispersed anymore. The old Eclipse used to manufacture the wings in Japan, the nose would be in Chile, uh, you know, the MPN knobs were somewhere else. It was too dispersed. It didn't fit the concept of the aircraft, and it was making supply chain extremely uh, expensive. Today, uh, thanks to our uh, partners at Sikorsky, uh, we have uh, very efficient suppliers and uh, all of the major components are essentially manufactured at one site, which is in Poland. Uh, and some of the critical parts for that site are manufactured in Turkey and is Eskisher. So uh, we are more focused, we are more con uh, concentrated. Actually, uh, if you look at the way the company is now managed, it resembles the way this aircraft flies. It, 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 it's, it's more economic, it's more efficient, it's business smart. Uh, so that's it. Let's dispel the rumor and the targets on safe. No. Well, actually, let's not look at rumors and I will not give you my opinion, but I will give you the official record of, uh, of the Eclipse fleet, which are 260 aircraft that are flying today. And officially, uh, because thanks to civil aviation uh, regulations, all flights are recorded. So I can tell you in all honesty that the Eclipse twin jet is, is the most is the safest twin jet that has ever existed uh, so far. I mean, the law of statistics says that at some point there might be a small accident, but so far there's not been a single accident. And that's not because the fleet is not flying. Actually, fleet utilization uh, has, has doubled since we took over uh, the company and has continued to double every year from then. So last January it was half what it is you know, this January. So uh, I think we have over 200,000 of flight hours already. And there's not been a single accident. One accident that there was a pilot mistake on the runway after the landing. Uh, but I don't think that counts. So we have the, uh, you know, the Eclipse is not just the most efficient jet and the most, the quietest jet and uh, the, the jet with the least carbon, carbon emissions, but it's also the safest jet today. What's your order tally here at Dubai? 
uh, we have now five firm orders that are already deposited, uh, which is not anywhere close to what the potential of this region is, but it is a good start. Especially if you look at how those slots are allocated, it's not just one customer, uh, and also the, the profiles of the customers are very different, which is the way I like to see the Eclipse uh, and think of the Eclipse, because it's, it's not a, an aircraft reserved for the super rich, it's not an air that doesn't mean that the super rich can buy it either. Uh, you know, it's not an aircraft that's only for executives uh, or, or only for air ambulances. It has a very wide range of uh, applicability, and I think the orders that we have gotten here resembles that wide, uh, wide group. So we have a high net worth individual who bought the aircraft, which you know by. You know, we can't announce who it is yet, but it's a very prominent figure in this uh, in this country, uh, and, and, and and you know the way I see it, it's, it it proves uh, that we were right to think that this aircraft has functional value add, uh, and it's not not just about how much money you have, uh, whether you're buying this aircraft or another. So you don't, you know, the higher the budget, uh, the bigger the aircraft is not true. That's not the way people are or should be buying aircraft. Thank you very much and good luck in your venture. Thank you, thank you.